16 inch MacBook Pro gaming review. We're gonna test out a couple popular Mac OS titles and move on to some games in bootcamp. The performance of this machine really shines in games from a few years ago and it can still hold up to some more recent titles. Let's get started and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like these. And we will see how that changes things. Oh yeah, I like this stuff a lot better. <laughs> I might die if I just jump off right here. We're gonna, we're gonna turn off depth of field. Tessellation, I think we do more on. Ambient inclusion. Cloth physics. We're gonna turn that off. Subsurface scattering, we'll leave that on. Level of detail, we'll go to, there's a low option, right? All right, so we'll go to medium there. Our V-Sync is off. We'll do double buffering there. And you can see it gets set to 59 Hertz as a refresh rate, but really that just means 60. <laughs> There's a little bit of input lag, and I'm not sure why that's happening, but it's, it's very subtle. Not enough for me to notice. And what happened to our V-Sync? Oh, I must have never said it. There we go, much better. Kane, get a message to Miller. So goes back out of the deal. Why am I not surprised? He's just looking after his family. Besides, it's not a complete wash. He gave me some options on how to get into Ark on my own. Well, just be careful, Jensen. Let me know when you're in. Tell me what I want to know. I think doesn't seem like 4K. Oh, is it 4K? Well, this is at 4K. I'm 
just wanted to show you that some older games can do 4K60 just fine, which is pretty crazy. In case anyone's wondering, that's actually the live sort of boss right there. If I were to sort of teleport there, I would actually be able to try and defeat him. And uh, I think she would probably go running. I, don't, I do not think I could actually harvest her. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and test the MacBook Pro audio out. So you can see I'm running this at full quality, at full resolution, and it is just flying through those graphics. As you can see during some of the more heavy scenes, it does dip down to anywhere from 48 to 55 frames per second, but really that's not bad at all. So as you can see, even at half volume, you can pretty much drown out. So this is a slightly older game, but 
still so you can see what the performance is like even when you really bump up that resolution and sort of turn all the graphic settings to high. Um, it's pretty incredible to be honest that this can do that and I'm still curious to see if the 8 gig VRAM model would just provide that extra push. But honestly, I haven't really felt the need for it. I can pretty much play any game I want at like almost maximum graphical quality. Although for, you know, 100 bucks or 90 bucks, when you have the student discount, that, that GPU upgrade does seem pretty appealing. So I'm kind of going through this. I really forgot how to run. How do you run? Nope, that's not how you run. That's not how you run either. Here she is, the Liberty Dome. One big sweaty armpit. Not that you notice inside that suit, but it's hotter than a vindaloo in here. Lots changed. This is how it will start. Right. People signed up with Cell for cheap energy. Cell would generate power for free, and nobody can compete with free. Before long, they had a monopoly. Bills went up. People had nothing left except their debt. Sell marked them out and into the volunteer camps. Nothing but scrape. Scanning the system to one on Delta. Hold up. Mind me. Cells using intelligent munitions means they only blow up unauthorized. Like us. Use your suit to interface with the mines. Disable them. Should be enough. Come on. Warning. IMS detonation detected in sector one, Delta. Sleep up on the far side.
So that's about it for this video. Leave a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you thought. Uh, let me know what else you want me to check out. I'd be happy to, you know, play some more games for you or, or check out some other apps. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.